I actually started wearing hijab from the second grade. Like I started、oh, wow. experimenting、wow. in the second grade. And I remember my mom would tell me, like, don't wear it. People are looking. We used to live in the United States. Yeah. And so we would get a lot of looks, like this very tiny little girl wearing a scarf. I wore it ten years ago. I think I was fifteen when I first wore it. I mean, I think it would be insane to to say that I wore it because I understood fully what it meant at that time because I was so young. So, but then like I grew to love it. If that makes any sense. Yeah. I travel a lot, and、yeah. so you get the extra checks、um, when I'm in touristic places. I'll get my own personal bodyguard following me around. It's so strange that the world is so threatened by a woman wanting to to take that power and to cover up. That's what I was gonna say because I was like, isn't it just funny how threatened they are by a choice, a personal choice that you chose to make for yourself? As an activist, I kind of see it as a form of resistance. Of like all of these system of oppression that we face in the world, this narrative that the media puts forward about Muslims or Arabs, all these stereotypes. For me, it's kind of like this is me, and I'm going to resist everything that you say about me.、Um, but also, I think it's okay for us to simply say that we wear the hijab because we do it for God, because、yeah. it's something that's part of our religion.、Oh, I feel、so. like we're pressured to kind of find these politically correct, you know. Yeah. Like, Like narratives of narratives like, of、yeah. why we wear it,、uh, so that other people can relate to it. I don't think it's acceptable to say you do something for religion anymore. I don't think that should be the case in the 21st century.、Yeah. I think we should be able to be like, I'm a religious person. I would like to manifest this relationship with God、yeah. through this hijab. I think it's so easy to judge women、yeah. um, based on their appearance. Based on their choices, just because the hijab is so apparent, like whether her hairline was showing or how, how long her pants、off. were. Honestly, yeah. Because I have this being said to me the entire time. They're like, "I want to take this step, but I'm not sure if I can because I'm not sure if I can do it perfectly." I've had certain doubts along the way, but now it's become a per- permanent part of me. I feel like I would feel. Different or not myself if I'm not wearing yeah, it. Yeah. I feel like it grounds me. It makes me remember that there's more things important in life than image or superficial things. It kind of, it's just an anchor in a world that's very confused at the moment. And so I, I appreciate that. I'm assuming it's too soon for you to feel that way. <laughs> Are you in the honeymoon phase right yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> um, it was difficult in summer. I did. It was hot.、Um, but no, I I am still in the stage where I'm really loving wearing it. Part of why I love wearing the hijab, I feel like it makes a statement in a world that really wants us to be globalized and to all look the same and to think the same. For me, it's like, no, I'm here. I'm wearing this. I'm Muslim. I'm proud. This represents my identity. I think it's time for us to kind of move on from like policing women and kind of really being so strict about women being perfect.、Yeah. Um, I think that there's、um, people. It's it's just the manner. In、yeah. which they point out that you're doing something、100%. wrong. Yeah. So you can go to someone privately and tell them, you know. Yeah. Maybe you don't know this. Exactly. But you know, I just wanted to inform you, just in case you didn't know. Yeah. And then there's writing in angry caps caps locks on,、yeah. a, on a comment section, <laughs> like you're doing this all wrong and things. And I get a lot of women who are either recent converts or they are thinking about converting. And it's always hijab that's the the main issue for them, which is so sad because,、yeah. all things considered, it's really something minor when you、yeah. you know when you're thinking about converting and things.、Um, and they say, you know, I'm I'm just worried about about that I'm I have to do this immediately and I have to do it right immediately and all of these things. And they read the comments online and they're like, wow, people are really harsh. Like, how how do you deal with that? And it's like, this is really it's really wrong. Like, it shouldn't. Be like this. I always encourage them to just not listen to what people say, and I know that's easier said than done. Yeah, you have to think about it in in ten years' time. Are you going to remember these silly comments that people make? They're not going to remember the silly comments that、yeah. they made. You're not going to remember them. So don't make a decision. Based on those things, I think that you have to recenter yourself, and you have to go back 
and say, why am I doing this? Other people aren't thinking about you as much as you think they are. Yeah. Like we're <laughs> trivial compared to how we imagine they're thinking about us and they're judging mm. us. My advice would just be to take your time with it, take it easy, try to surround yourself with people who encourage you rather than put you down. Mm. And you have to always come back to the the central point, which is your personal, your personal belief and your personal journey. And this is about you and your relationship with God, and it's not about anyone else. And if people don't have something kind of positive and supportive to say about that, you don't really have to listen. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, I love, I love those messages. Kind yeah. of see it as a strength or a superpower or as something amazing that you're doing for the world. Um, I, know that, I know that one of my proudest moments was standing in the United Nations wearing the hijab. Mm -hmm. And I will always remember that feeling. And I think the hijab made that moment so much more special. So think about it in that way. I love that. Yeah, me too. That's really special, Joel. I'm so happy I got to meet you girls today. Me and I'm too. so happy I have new friends now. <laughs> I know, I, I, I mean, it's funny because we've never met before, but then also we connect on so many different levels because of hijab. Yeah. And I just, I love that. And that's so. a beautiful thing. Like yeah. we have friends with, I don't know how many million people just yeah. by this one commonality, which oh, is beautiful. Sound. That's such a good way of looking at it. I never yeah. thought of it like that. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm so glad that I met you guys and thank you so much you know for sharing your experiences